Hey. Hi, Liana. I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure. Peter's biological father is out of jail and he wants to see his son now. What? How did he contact you after 15 years? He had my email. Have you replied yet? No. How could I? Peter has no idea about his real father. Yeah. So, what do you want to do? I have no idea. I'm at a crossroad now. I think Peter should know about his father. Let him decide if he wants to connect with him or not. Okay. I will text him and see how it goes. Are you sure you want to do it over text? If I wait for him to come home to do this, it will be too late. Why? Because then his father might come looking for him and me, and I don't want the confrontation to go wrong. I want to tell Peter first. Right. Okay. When is he coming back, by the way? I guess he will be around for winter break. Okay, go ahead and let me know how it goes. I'm so nervous. I can understand. He is one angry child. Yeah, this is a huge revelation for him. Don't worry, sweetie. You hid it all these years with a good intention. Yes. All the best. Thanks, Kenneth. Hey, Peter. How are you doing? I miss you, my child. Hey, Mom. What's up? How is your soccer training camp? Do you like it? It's a dream come true, Mom. I miss you and Dad. We miss you too, sweetheart. Listen, I need to tell you something. Sure. What is it? Kenneth is not your biological father. Mom, please. No pranks right now. I need to focus on my camp. I'm not joking. I'm telling you the truth. What do you mean he's not my father? He has adopted you. Huh? I mean we have adopted you. What the fuck? I'm adopted? I am your biological mother. Kenneth isn't your biological dad. Who is? Your real dad is Paul, and he was in jail awaiting trial when you were born. I didn't put his name on your birth certificate, and when I got married, Kenneth adopted you. What the fuck? How could it be so messed up? I'm sorry, Peter. You have every right to be mad at me. Why didn't you tell me before? He's out of jail and wants to meet you now. Peter? One missed call, one missed video call, two missed calls. Are you there? Peter? A few hours later. Peter, why have you left camp? Your trainer gave me a call to inform us about your exit from the camp. Please reply. I'm at a friend's house. You're back in town? Yeah. Why did you not come home? I didn't want to. Okay, I understand you need some time and space to process this, but I need you to tell me where you are. I'm at Joshua's now. Okay, great. How could you do this to me, Mom? You kept me in the dark about my father for 16 years. I'm sorry, Peter. I know I shouldn't have. But I had my reasons. There's so many questions in my mind, but the one screaming at me is, why was he in jail? Well, I will start from why I didn't tell you before. That will answer both the questions. Fine. I wanted you to have a normal, happy childhood, 
unburdened by the knowledge that your father was a criminal. Why? What was his crime? Robbery. What were you two doing before I was born? We loved each other. At least I did. We met through mutual friends in school. But he was a very abusive man and could get quite violent at times. Really? Why did you have me then? I had already broken up with him, and that's when I found out I was pregnant. Wow, so I was an unwanted child of a single mother until Dad came along. Did he know that you were pregnant with me? If you were unwanted, you wouldn't be alive. Yes, he knew. I had contacted him once to collect my belongings, and he begged me to come back. But I mistakenly told him about the pregnancy. That's how he knew. Makes sense. But he had the right to know, Mom. Just like I do. So for how long were you guys together? I'm so sorry, son. I know. Almost a decade. We were together in school, and he committed this robbery when we were planning to get engaged. But he was not ready for the commitment wholeheartedly. So we had a huge fight, and I just left. Was it the first time that you left? I had left my parents' house when I was 17 to be with him. They were totally against him and our relationship. But they couldn't stop me, because I was so crazy about him. I assume you must have left many times then. You seemed like a total nut. Yes. We had multiple fights and breakups, but when he was planning the robbery, I didn't want to be associated with him anymore. Didn't you try to stop him? He was not a good man. He got into the wrong company and was never home until 3 or 4 a.m. Shit. Why'd you put up with him? I was young and stupid. Yeah, that's my excuse. This doesn't sound like you, Mom. You're so clear-headed now. So smart and awesome. Really? But I am still super pissed. I wish I was told earlier. I wanted you to have a healthy role model. You thrived and are doing great in school because of your dad. Yeah. You have such amazing friends live in a clean and safe environment, and are also mentoring middle schoolers through a program at your school. Do you think all this would be possible if you knew about your real dad? Yeah, Mom. I guess it would be. The chances would be a little less, but I'd still make it. I still feel my deception helped you. Are you saying I have no caliber and potential at all? Oh my gosh, no, honey. I would never say or think that. All I'm saying is at that time and till today, protecting you was my biggest concern. How did he contact you now? He got out of prison and contacted me about seeing you. Okay, so he has your current number? No way. He just had my email. I think he memorized it when he entered the jail because he knew he had to hunt me down and see his child no matter what. He went crazy because I told him I would never wait for so many years. You didn't want to be with him anyway, right? No. When he was planning the robbery, I tried to talk him out of it and that we would both work hard and start our family too if he straightened his ways. But he went against my wish and attempted the robbery anyway. His accomplice even murdered one of the old men at the crime spot. No way, Mom. That's so dramatic. Yeah. I didn't want all of this to ever be associated with you in any way whatsoever. That's why I hid it from you. My whole life, I believe that Kenneth is my dad. Do you know how I feel right now, Mom? How? I feel so goddamned lucky that you did what you did. 
I have no regrets. You guys gave me the best life, and whatever I am today, my bio dad would have never been able to give me. Oh dear, really? Yeah, I feel so grateful that you both are my parents. Really, I was very pissed and felt cheated when I just heard of it. Peter, you've taken this news so well. I'm so proud of you. I know it is highly unsettling that you wake up one fine day and find out that the parent who you loved and accepted with all your heart is in fact not your parent. Mom, you're going to make me cry. I wish you never told me about Paul at all. Why? This is my reality, and I'm happy with it. I wouldn't want it any other way, Mom. I love you and Dad so much. Okay, son. Please come home then. We were so scared when we found out you just exited your camp and were not taking our calls or replying to our messages. I freaked out. I should have heard you out. I know I acted upon it in haste. Yes, it is all okay, baby. Please come home soon. A few days later... Hey, Mom. Does Paul know where we live? Hi. Oh my gosh, no he doesn't. All he has is my email. Why would you ask? Just a quick question. I know you may have a lot of questions about him, and it's okay if you want to ask me. Yeah, Mom. Sure. Did you let him know that I would not like to see him? Yes. I let him know just yesterday. What did he say? He has not replied yet, son. Also, there is something I'd like you to be careful about. He doesn't have our home address, but we aren't exactly hidden. Yeah, mom, obviously. Finding us is still a possibility. I'll be careful. Good. I need you to email him and ask him to leave us alone. I can't live in the impending fear of being in front of him one random day and have to face it all. I can't, Mom. I know, honey. We have protected you for so long. We will do our best even in the future. Thanks, Mom. Dad took me out to my favorite restaurant to make up for all this mess. Yeah, that is so sweet. You do trust us still, Peter, don't you? Of course I do, Mom. You both are my rock, my beautiful parents. Aw, sweet boy. You know, Mom, the most unsettling part of growing up is learning that our parents aren't perfect and don't have all the answers. Yeah, sweetheart. We're humans too. And no matter how hard we try, we can't make the right choice always. Exactly. I know how much you guys try to do for me. You know, I regret my decision of not telling you till now. I should have told you when you were younger. I wouldn't be able to understand your circumstances like I do now, Mom. It's all good. I didn't realize when you grew up so much. Mom... Hi, honey. I want to ask you about something. Hey, sweetheart. Do you still have any feelings for Paul? Oh my gosh, no. You and Peter are my family now. Why did you ask me this? Well, I know it's silly, but he's back out of the blue and wants to see Peter. I felt a bit insecure. Aww. Kenna, I love you and Peter so much. I love you both too, sweetheart. Peter is being so mature and reasonable about this. Yes, oh my gosh, he's an angel. Christmas is around the corner. Yeah, sweet guy was trying to help me decorate the house yesterday. Aw, you both. I feel so blessed.
Our life is too good to be true. Touch wood. Did you know he had a couple of meetings with his school guidance counselor too? Oh? Is that so? Why? Not exactly therapy, but more like a moderated discussion about the whole thing. He said it was really helpful for him. Why didn't I know this before? You must have pushed him for this. Yeah, I don't want him to process this alone. But we've been talking a lot lately as a family. I know. But if he is hiding any big feelings underneath to make us comfortable, I just wanted to make sure he's 100% okay. I think I made the best decision of my life in marrying you. Really? Undoubtedly. On Christmas Eve, I love you, son. Why don't you come to church with me tonight? Shit. I just want some head, though. I ain't really trying to fuck. Mom, I'm so sorry. I meant to send that to someone else. I love you, Mom. I'm sorry. You need Jesus. I raised you better than that. You will be at the church with me in an hour. But Mom, I can't. I'm with Paul. Huh? What stupid prank is this? By the way, who are you texting all that rubbish to? To my girlfriend, Mom. Susan. Susan? She's a cute girl I met at the basketball club. Funny. I don't even know about her yet. Sorry, Mom. I thought it was too soon to tell. What is this I'm with Paul bullshit? Where are you? Mom. I've been in touch with Paul for a week. He wanted to spend this Christmas with me, and I think he deserved to. I can't believe this. I'm so worried about you. Can you please explain? So, Paul met me at school and showed me all your old photos together. I ignored him the first few times because I just froze and didn't know what to tell him. How did he find your school? How did he know it's you? My social media was public, Mom. He found out about our last name from your mutual friends. Oh my gosh, why didn't you agree to meet him when I asked if you wanted to? I didn't want to, Mom. But when he came and stood in front of me, I had a change of heart. I was at a crossroad how to explain to you and Dad. I didn't want to betray you guys. Oh, honey, you can never hurt us. You have every right to meet Paul. I was just worried about your safety. I'm okay, Mom. I'm 20 minutes away. He lives 20 minutes away from us. He comes to watch you every day when you leave home. What? Yes, he still loves you. He's still the same creep. He knows everything about us. I was so naive to think he only knows my email. It's okay, Mom. He's a nice guy. I'll be home tomorrow morning. Please tell Dad, too. Okay, sure, honey. Please take care. I love you. Love you, Mom. Paul has completed his sentence and is now clear of all charges. He took a paternity test and confirmed if he was Peter's father. He was. So he is legally the father and could try to file a petition for joint custody or visitation at some point. As Kenneth has already adopted Peter, this is going to cause a problem for Peter's parents. Peter is relieved to know the truth. He loves his parents the same, but has a yearning to know more about Paul and connect with him. Liana is okay with it, but Kenneth is a bit apprehensive and was livid that Peter was meeting him behind their backs initially.